are you guys doing today? So today, uh, this is my thoughts on the Tribus Tools situation going around here. Now, a lot of people don't know, I was uh, one of the, I was contacted by this company named Tribus Tools. Um, they wanted me to check out these ratcheting crow's foot wrenches and help them launch their product or whatever. Um, they picked some other people too. Uh, we'll talk about uh, that. Now, the reason uh, apparently, you know, I got fired because uh, the first the first time that I used these things, it was on a sensor on a Peterbilt. I was just trying to figure out how they worked and uh, if they were going to be a good tool or not because, again, I'm not putting my name on nothing. That fucking absolutely fucking sucks, if you get what I'm saying. So, uh, the first sensor socket, uh, the three-quarter blew apart. Okay, so I was like, oh, okay, these are no fucking good at all. But there's going to be some other people out there on YouTube uh, that are bought and paid for, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to prove that to you here in just a little bit. So uh, I thought about this for the last couple of days, but I thought, no, nope, we got to talk about this shit. Um, okay, new tool companies. When you pick your social media marketing people, I already know what you want. You want a whole bunch of yes men, okay? All righty. Well, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. This motherfucker is not a yes man, okay? Do you understand what that means? Do you understand that this brand on this shirt means more to me than really getting fucking $23 every time I sell one of these fucking tools? Do you realize that? This brand is more important. And maybe if people on YouTube took their brand more seriously instead of being a whole bunch of fucking yes men, I wouldn't have to make this video. And I'm sure that a lot of you are going to think that I'm a fucking giant asshole. But for how much these things cost at 350 bucks, okay, you, if you buy these, you are going to be extremely disappointed, okay? Now, the other person, they sent these to Kuhn. He's going to fucking, we already know he's bought and paid for Okay, everybody knows that. He's going to tell you they're fucking great and all this bullshit. But the other one that you probably need to know about is Rust Belt Mechanic. Now, they sent these to Rust Belt, okay? And we had a little conversation on uh, Facebook uh, about what happened, okay? Uh, he was in one of my live streams, you know, doing whatever. And uh, after that live stream, he wrote me and he said, well, I really can't, I, don't, I didn't screenshot what he wrote because now the chicken shit bastard went back and deleted his comments on Facebook. So, you know, when in doubt, delete the evidence. So, uh, what it was, was uh, he asked me, he said, hey, when are you going to release your Tribus videos so we don't flood the market? I respect that. I said, it's probably not going to be for a while. Uh, I'm going to screenshot this onto the screen next here. Uh, I probably will, uh, I'm not going to release this, maybe mine till next week. The first, uh, you know, I said, using them today, I broke one of them because they have a heat treating process that is fucked up, okay? And I realized that, yes, they have a heat treating process, and I found out some other shit today just fucking with them. These things are, there's some janky stuff going on. He wrote, oh, okay, been using mine I've used them 10 times, had no issue. Now, when he screenshotted me a picture of his, they were cleaner than clean, boys. So I was like, I don't, I don't think you used them 10 times, but whatever. And I said, I would not release a video until they get these problems fixed. You just don't want to throw your name on something that doesn't fucking break. He went la-da-da-da-da, had no problem with mine. I, he asked me, what broke? So I sent him pictures of uh, what broke, and I'll screenshot all this. All righty. And then he's, he wrote some other kind of shit. And I said, yes, the nitrated coating that is on the outside of this got fucked up. And he said, oh, I don't think so. Mine were out of a different batch. Listen, I've been to their fucking manufacturing process. I don't think they know which batch is which. Okay, they were just in a big box. I have a feeling that... 
however they however the guy was been coding them that's how he's been coding them from the beginning okay and I said alrighty and then uh, he said I said uh, that's why and then a couple days later uh, he sent me a pic I think when he finally got around to using them because he's probably thinking about it you know yeah, he finally got around to using them and uh, you know what I'm saying? I, uh, I called the manufacturer and said, hey, you got a problem with these. I don't think they're absolutely my... He wrote me back and he showed me a picture of it actually cracking. And I thought, yeah, I, I kind of already knew that. And I said, that's what they said is messed up the case. Uh, no, I, I called the manufacturer and told him, uh, hey, man, we got a problem with these things. Something is fucked up, you know, like... They can't take any pressure, they just explode. And uh, he wrote back and, you know, you know, again, trying to fucking bleh, 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 talking about how great these fucking things are. I've used them ten times, never had a problem. Like I said, bullshit. So, uh, you know, like I called the manufacturer, they broke a couple of them. Uh, they were just going back and grabbing a couple of them and they broke some of those. And then he asked me when I got mine. I told him, I picked mine up last week. I believe they're out of the same batch as what you got. If we're there within four days of each other, it's not like this place has got a million of these things. It's not going to be that big a deal. And then that's when he wrote me back December 13th at 2.32. Uh, you can see that with the picture of his three-quarter cracked right here is mine. And I told him. I told you, you should have listened to me. You know what I'm saying? He's like, well, I don't think I'm going to rely on a video about these until, you know, whatever. And I wrote, good choice. All right. Then, after I saw Kuhn release it and I heard some bullshit about, uh, you know, he was on a live stream and he was talking about how great these fucking things were, I went back and the chicken shit bastard deleted all of his messages. So I just came in this morning to make sure that I was fucking right on what I thought about these things, okay? Great idea, bad, bad execution, okay? And uh, so again, you can't see this, but let me see if I can get it to fucking focus. Yep, 11 sixteenths, crapped, okay? Five eighths. All right. Now this is all fucked up. I, I kind of figured out what the problem is. And uh, I'm going to take you over here and show it to you. Why you're not going to see Justin Sturgill put his name on these. And, you know, that we have some bought and paid for YouTube people out there. Now, that being said, these guys need money. Again, I don't need money because I respect myself. So let's go over here. I got a little demonstration popped up, you know, and I'm going to show you what the problem is and why these things won't take very much fucking torque. Okay, so what I did is I just put a nut in there because I'm going to tell you another thing about these things. Like they say they're for like transmission lines and all that bullshit. Well, this is the 11 16th that's fucking broke. Uh, let me get this one. Okay, these things are fucking absolute garbage. All right, you can see uh, that the teeth are getting fucked up. But here's another thing. Okay, this throat opening will never go around like any hose or anything like that. These are only designed to go around hard stuff. That's what I think, okay? And I have not seen very many hard line power steering lines on a goddamn Peterbilt. Usually it's a cable or a, you know, like a wire will not fit over there. But the reason they have to make this so small, if they made this opening wide, the problem that they have is going to get worse. So, you know, this is me trying to get it off and you can see but what happens is is if this is really tight you run this down see this
Now, that's not really that tight. Because, let me show you. These copper jaws move. All right? So that's not tightening in that up. Now, if you're using these to try to get off something that the factory put on, you know, they're gonna have this down to a torque spec of, I don't know what, but it's guaranteed it's gonna be fucking, you know, it's gonna be fucking tight. And it's not gonna be brand new, it's gonna be rusted to fuck all. So again, we'll put this on there. All right, we got some teeth to catch. But again, here we go. All right, fucking junk. Because what happens is, is when you go to loosen these, um, if you get this moved over, oh fuck, these pieces of shit. Uh, if you get these moved over a little bit to where it's all bound up, it doesn't, it doesn't fucking work, you know? And I can tell you that those power steering lines, especially on a dump truck or even an Allison transmission, you have to fucking go after them, bud. You know? Did you see that? I mean, it was already cracked, but that's what you're dealing with there. You know? Absolute fucking pure garbage. So when I say something that this stuff is no good, I'm not, I'm not saying this just to bash somebody. I'm trying to tell you guys that, you know, this shit's garbage. So that's my thought on the Tribus tools. This is the tool review that you're never going to see. Uh, you know, it's just absolutely ridiculous. So uh, that's my final thoughts on Tribus tools. I don't think uh, I'll be using these in the time future. Uh, really, I'm thinking about just throwing them in the garbage. Now, a lot of you are gonna say that I'm an asshole for making this video, and you know, you might be right. But I also don't wanna see people spend 350 fucking dollars and waste their money, okay, on a product that's A, not very good, and I don't think it's gonna work very good. The only thing it'll work on is if it's a hardline system. Now. I've noticed in some of the other people's videos that they released a com, uh, all the comments are positive. You know, nothing negative, and uh, I'm not into that. So, I wouldn't have to do this video, you know what I'm saying, if you people were smarter. Okay? But, uh, like always, fucking check out Facebook, Instagram, Patreon, all that bullshit. Okay, and uh, like always, thanks for watching. Don't buy this shit. Waste of money. And if anybody else tells you it's fucking good, you know that they're bought and paid for. But uh, I gotta fucking go.